Take out your flip book if you don't have that out yet. We'll go over the bell work together. Remember, you have an online quiz due on Friday. You can access that quiz through Schoology, and we'll take a test on Friday. So we'll have a review tomorrow. Again, we're continuing with proportions and the idea of similar triangles. Yesterday, we did indirect measurement, which will continue and add scale factors in there. So look first at page 12 for the warm-up. Statue at the Korean War Memorial in Washington cast a 43 and a half inch shadow. At the same time, a nearby tourist casts a 32 inch shadow. If the tourist is 64 inches tall, how tall is the statue? So we want to know the height over the shadow. Now the question is, how tall is the statue? That means this is what I don't know. That's my X. So we have the height of the statue over the shadow of the statue. That equals the height of the tourist over the shadow of the tourist. We'll cross multiply. And that gives us 32x equals 2784, dividing both sides by 32, tells me that the statue or the height of the statue is 87 uh, feet tall, inches tall, inches tall according to this problem. Number two, in this figure we have those congruent triangles. We want to know how deep the water is at 62 meters. So the first thing I need to do is write this as we've done before. So I'm going to use similar letters. I've got VY over VW. That's the first two letters in each one of these. Then I'll go with the last two letters telling me that YZ over WX should be here. And finally, the first and the third letter, VZ and VX. So I've got those three ideas, and then I want to take what's given in this uh, diagram and write it on the, the equations. So this WX, it says that's 5. That goes right here. YZ is what I'm looking for. YZ, that's up here. So that's the depth. We'll use the letter D for that. VW is 3. That means this is 3. And VY is 62. That's this. So those are the parts of the equation that I'm going to use. 62 over 3 equals D over 5. I'll cross multiply now to get 3D equals 62 times 5, which is 310. And then I'll divide both sides by 3 to get that the depth is going to be 103.3 meters. You can pause the video at any point if we need to catch up on the writing. Question number three says, determine if the triangles are similar. Determine if the triangles are similar. So I want to find, I'm going to put the left triangle on top and the right triangle on bottom. So the first thing I do is find the two shortest sides, 3 and 16. And then I find the two medium sides. 4 and 18, and then I find the two long sides, 5 and 20. And the question is, is what I just wrote true? Well, if you're not sure, you could grab a calculator and divide those things out. So this is 3 over 16. Well, that's that. 4 over 18, that's not the same thing, and I don't even really need to do this. 
but I will. And we'll see that these numbers are not the same. If any one of them is different, then it's not similar. So those things are not true. No. The triangles are not similar. And finally, we'll look at number four. We have this bow tie looking thing. And again, they've given me some information about similarity. Remember the tilde right here means similar. So I'm going to look at the first two letters, M, N, and the first two letters, Q, R. And then I'll look at the last two letters, N, P, and the last two letters, R, P. And finally, I'll look at the first and the last letter, M, P, first and last letter, Q, P, not Q, R, Q, P. Now, take what I've got in this diagram and write the numbers on this particular part. So it says MP is 24. That means this is 24. It says PQ is 28. That means this is 28. It says PN is X plus 8. That means this is X plus 8. And finally, PR or RP is 3X minus 9. So the part of this formula that I need to use is this part. I didn't even put anything on that front part. And I'm going to rewrite that with just the, the black numbers filled in. And so we get x plus 8 over 3x minus 9 equals 24 over 28. So I'll cross multiply 28x plus 8 and I'll cross multiply 24 3x minus 9. Then I need to distribute and solve that equation. This is 28x 28 times 8, I can use a calculator for that, um, but it's 224. And then over here, 24 times 3x, again, use the calculator on that, that's fine. And 24 times negative 9 is negative 216. So I'm going to move the 28x over here. It's 224 equals 44x minus 216. I'll add 216 to each one. 440 equals 44x. And then divide both sides by 44 to get that x equals 10. So there's the bell work. And now let's flip back and look at the notes on page eight. Again, if we need to pause the video, then certainly do that at any point. Now we're going to talk about scale factor. And it says on here that the order matters. So I need to put the letters in the right order, the appropriate idea. And it says, what's the scale factor of ABC to DEF? of A, B, C to D, E, F. So that means A, B goes with D, E. So we're just going to pick two sides on that. I picked A, B, and D, E. That'll be this. A, B, and D, E. And then I'm going to pick two more letters, B, C, and E, F. And I could see that these are going to be the same. I could, I could, in fact, we'll just do it for the third one. That would be AC 
and df. And I can see when I write these letters in here that it's going to work the same way no matter which ones because these are similar. So if I rewrite that whole thing, the first fraction, AB was 8 and DE was 12. BC was 10 and EF was 15 and AC is 18 while DF is 27. If I were to use my calculator to simplify all of those, 8 divided by 12, 10 divided by 15, and 18 divided by 27, they're all the same. So this will reduce to 2 thirds. That's the scale factor. Now, really, I didn't need to do it for all three of them. If I do it for one, it's obviously the same for each of them because the triangles are similar. So now I say the scale factor of DEF to ABC. So this is looking at it in the other way. I'll put DE on top and AB on bottom. So DE is 12. That's what goes on top. And AB or 8 goes on the bottom. And that reduces down to 3 halves. The scale factor is just flipped over. Next question says, see it's up here. It says, what's the ratio of the perimeter of DEF to ABC? Now this says, what's the scale factor of DEF to ABC? The ratio of the perimeter works out exactly the same way, but we could count the perimeter and see. So if I add up the sides here, this is 12 and 15 and 27. 54, and if I add up the perimeter over here, it's 8 and 10 and 18. And if I make a ratio in that order, it's 54 over 36, which reduces down to 3 halves, just like the ratio of the scale factor. All right, the next one says if the Figures below are similar with a scale factor of 6 to 5. Find the value of x. Now this triangle here, the one on top, this is the bigger triangle, and this is the smaller triangle. If it's 6 to 5, the bigger triangle needs to be on top. So that's going to be the x on top or in the numerator. The 28 is on bottom or in the denominator. Cross multiply. Six times twenty eight is one hundred and sixty eight. And then when I divide both sides by five, I get that X is thirty three point six. Of course, you could use your calculator uh, to do that as well. the bottom of that page you see the last example if the figures below are similar with a scale factor of 1 to 2 find the missing side so we're going to put the smaller one and the larger one okay it's written in that order so the small to large because the small number is on the top of the fraction and the larger number is on the bottom and it says we want to find the missing sides and so I guess I could label these. Let's call that X, that Y, and that Z. So now when I uh, plug in my parts, I know it's 1 to 2. And so I'll look at the bottom piece right there. And I can see this is X over 4. Cross multiply. 2x equals 4, so x is 2. Do the same thing for the next side. Again, the scale factor is 1 half. I'll do it in black, in fact, so it'll stay consistent. The scale factor is 1 half. And then the side on the right, the small one, goes on the top of the fraction. That number goes on the bottom. Cross multiply. 
and then one more time to find the other side. One half is z over eight. Cross multiply, divide by two. Z is four. And that's how you use scale factors with similar triangles. At this point, you can work on your homework assignment. When you finish that, remember that you have an online quiz and we'll check over your work tomorrow.